Creek is perhaps the next evolutionary step for the troll species. He's spiritually advanced. He's moved beyond the material world, even if that material is felt and into a more spiritual domain. Creek's relationship with the other trolls is one uh, of haughty superciliousness and condescension. He considers himself to be better than the other trolls, uh, more advanced intellectually and spiritually and just, uh, vibrating on a higher plane of consciousness. At the commencement of the movie Trolls, they live in a kind of, it seems, blissful captivity where they are regularly harvested by the Bergen species, having been led to freedom by a kind of Moses figure uh, in the shape of King Pepe through a series of uh, subterranean tunnels. They now live in a new utopia, a blissful forest dwelling, but there is one harbinger character, played by Justin Timberlake, the character of Branch, who says that danger is just around the corner, but the other trolls in their sort of blissful, uh, sort of, uh, one would say, uh, for ungrounded optimism can, don't pay heed to his warnings and just want to party and enjoy life. They don't see the, uh, you know, sort of the, the writing on the wall, to use a bi biblical analogy, that there is the threat of danger. When danger eventually comes, of course, only Branch, the cynic, is prepared for danger in the form of the returning Bergens. They are kidnapped beginning the uh, I Iliad, uh, part of the film, a quest where Poppy, as the hero, in order to fulfil her father's dreams and live on her legacy and her duty as a monarch, a figurehead, a sovereign, the uh, emblem, emblem of the divinity of the trolls in their troll world, has to rescue her friends. Anna Kendrick brings to the role of Poppy Murph Lightness a good singing voice, uh, sort of a puckish, spry, wry playfulness. She is a twinkle-eyed, affable, girl next door, so sparkle-toed, whimsical girl with uh, an, an element of edginess, which I imagine means that she can, uh, that she's uh, as accessible, accessible to young children, but like uh, aspirational for adolescent female viewers. Branch is a sort of a survivalist kind of character that lives in a bunker. He does have that skill set, but he doesn't have the optimism and love. But the two of them, as a composite entity, do have exactly the required characteristics to fulfill this uh, mission, or do they? You know, that's the great question of the Trolls film. Will they rescue their friends? And will they again achieve utopia? Can there be a second Eden for the Trolls? Do you think he created a very accessible uh, and uh, entertaining uh, soundtrack? It seemed to me that it was a very good marriage between the visual aesthetic and uh, the, the music, that everything seems very sort of joyful and inviting and inclusive. And I met him for the first time and he seems like a very warm human.